Hello, in this episode we are going to talk about cutting pieces out of a plywood sheet. The first thing we need to do is go to the spreadsheet workbench, click on this button, create spreadsheet, and here we have a table just like in Excel. We will enter here some values to define the size of the sheet of plywood and the dimensions of the cutter head. Board length, board width, and board thickness, and the cutter diameter which is required to know the offset of the tool when cutting the pieces. After writing the names on the column on the right we are going to enter the values. I will use the standard dimensions for a sheet of plywood around here so it's 2500 millimeters a width of 1250 millimeters and a thickness of 18 millimeters and i'm going to use a cutter diameter of 6 millimeters it's one of the fastest cutting bits that i have of course i can refer to these values using the column and the row it's d5 for board length but i like to give them aliases to be easier to reference so let's give it an alias length for the width of course width thickness and diameter i will close it now go to the part design workbench and create a new body i'll rename it to board then create a sketch in the xy plane create a rectangle starting from the origin in the positive x and y and now we need to size the rectangle select the bottom line press the horizontal distance constraint button or the l key and here you can see the window where i can enter the value for the length i press on this button or press the equal key and here i can enter a formula i will start writing spreadsheet select it from the drop down list you can see a column after spreadsheet and here i will write with it's the alias that we gave to the value in the spreadsheet you can see the result 1250 press enter twice close this window again and now the rectangle has the correct width select the vertical line press the i button or the vertical distance constraint in the toolbar press equal again and type spreadsheet length it's the length of the board now the sketch is fully constrained close the sketch and let's pad it with the sketch selected press the pad button for the length again press equal or press on this button for entering an expression spreadsheet thickness press ok now that we have created the board we are going to create the sketch that defines the pieces that we are going to cut create a new sketch in the xy plane press this button to view the section to hide everything up to the face of the sketch so we can see the lines click this button to toggle to construction geometry you can see everything turn blue let's create a rectangle from the origin again give it dimensions exactly as we did when creating the board you can see a light blue rectangle we are going to use these lines if we need to reference one of the outer edges if we want to place a piece on this edge we can use this line later to reference and to position the cutout on this edge now let's define some shapes switch back to normal geometry i want a rectangle here another here another one here i have to give them length and width And now I can move them around and place them in between the blue lines to make sure I won't have some pieces going out of the board and not turning out the correct dimension in the end. You can use this blue line to reference, let's say I want to place this piece on the outer edge, select the corner, select the blue line and click on this button, constraint point onto object or press the O key. Now this rectangle will always be on this outer edge. You need to know that you can also create any other shape, let's make a circle here. The most important thing is to make sure the space between all these rectangles is at least the tool bit diameter if i have them very close together i select their corners and press i for a vertical distance constraint press equal spreadsheet diameter and now i have zero waste between these two boards if i want them aligned this way i can select again their corners press v for a vertical constraint now these corners always will be on top of each other you can see that they are now aligned i can do the same for all the other pieces select the bottom left corner select the origin press c for a coincident point onto point constraint and this rectangle is now in the lower left corner of the board this way i can reduce a lot of the waste you to know that you have to manually place all these pieces maybe enter the values in a software to make the cut list optimized and then place again the pieces in free cut based on that list after i've created all the pieces that i want i can now close the sketch you can see it's on the bottom of the board so i want to move it upwards I cannot go to placement, you can see they are grayed out, I have to go to attachment, position and change the Z to the thickness of the board, press equal, 
spreadsheet thickness now it will stay on top of the board and with this sketch i'm going to make a pocket let's give it a length equal to the thickness of the board but i will subtract a 0.01 because i still want to have some bottom on these cutouts i don't want them to be cut completely close the pocket you can see i have a very thin piece here and i have all the pieces that i want to cut they are hollow in the board let's also rename the sketch press f2 cut out so it's easier to find it in the tree when i want to change something i'm going to use this file as a sort of template maybe even set it to write only and make sure each time i want a new cutout i will save it with a different file name so i won't modify anything here now let's go to the path workbench select the board create a new job if you have a template select a template if not you can change the settings from the job edit tab make sure the origin is in the corner of the board you can see i have the extensions set to zero on all the sides i have a six millimeters end mill it's the tool bit that i most often use when making cutouts the diameter is small enough to avoid uh, losing too much material but it's a very good cutter close the job and now let's create a profile operation and by holding ctrl key i will select all the bottom faces of the cutouts go to base geometry click on add when i click on apply you can see the toolpath created it will cut three millimeters away from the required size of board there's just one problem here because they are exactly the same distance one from the other as the diameter of the tool bit it has some difficulties calculating the tool path so i will need to solve this out close the job go to the tool controller and double click on the shape on the six millimeters and mill double click on it go to the diameter click on the formula editor and i will write here spreadsheet diameter minus 0.0001 this will lead to almost no difference in size but when changing this let's go back to the operation you can see that it now is able to calculate the path that 0.001 will result in a correct path for all the pieces no matter how close they are to each other i can draw a cat i can draw whatever shape i want just make sure you don't overlap them if you overlap them let's overlap them the first problem will be an error because you cannot make a pocket with a sketch with overlapping lines and even though they are not overlapping if they are very very close together you can see it's smaller than the tool diameter if i go to the profile you can see here it won't cut which is a pretty good thing because if it would have gone around the circle both of the pieces would have had wrong dimensions so this is a good thing that it won't go through there but i have to go to edit the sketch and make sure there is enough space so i'll move the circle lower click on close go to the profile file again there's one more thing that i need to correct in the profile operation if going to the depth tab you can see i have a final depth of 0.01 on most cnc machines this won't really matter because a 0.01 thick piece of plywood will just break very very easily but if i still have a problem with this i can go click on the edit click on clear and now i can manually enter a value of zero and we will go up to the bottom completely in the beginning you've seen me create a spreadsheet because sometimes i don't have a full size board i have some leftovers and i can go to the spreadsheet just change the board length and board width let's make a board length of 1200 millimeters and the board width of 800 you can see they are pretty messed up for now i have to change all these again now with the new dimensions of the board i can create the pieces that i want place them move them around but after each change of the pieces if they are uh, different from what i had initial i have to go to the profile operation go to the base geometry and select them again click on add because otherwise it will create the outer profile of the board which i don't want so now that i have the file created let's start from scratch and i'll show you what the workflow will be anytime you want to cut a new piece of plywood go to the spreadsheet define the board length and width make sure the thickness is right the cutter diameter is right the ones that you are using go back to the 3d view go to the cutout delete anything that is inside except the blue outline of the board define and give dimensions to the boards that you want to cut to the shapes you can cut any shape just place them around give them dimensions align them if you want to set the distance between them close the sketch go to the job to the profile double click on it select the bottom of all the faces that you want to be cut go to base geometry click on add click on apply click on ok then go to the job click on export button select the file that you want to export and now i can simply go to the cnc with a g-code file created and cut the pieces out of my plywood sheet thank you for watching and see you next time